How's it going, hockey fans? My name is Zach, and welcome to Habs in 5. Today we're going to be going over the Habs' last game of the season versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's get right into it. The first period started out pretty weak for the Montreal Canadiens, with the Leafs reaching the back end of the net twice in the first 10 minutes. The first of which being an unassisted goal by Zach Hyman, who just throws the puck toward the net and bounces it off of a Habs defender's skate and it slides past Charlie Lindgren and reaches the back of the net for the first goal of the game. The second goal coming a little while later on the stick of Jake Gardner from a point shot who was actually assisted by Mitch Marner and Zach Hyman getting his second point of the night already only 10 minutes into the game. But just a couple minutes later the Montreal Canadiens answered back with a little jam in goal from the newly signed number 25 Ryan Paling scoring a goal in his debut but Mike Babcock calls the call in goalie interference, so it is going to be going to a review. After the review, it is official, the goal is good, and Ryan Paling has scored in his debut. That'll be the end of the action in the first period, but in the second period, the Montreal Canadiens are going to be the first ones on the scoreboard on the stick of none other but the man of the game, Ryan Paling scoring his second goal of the game, getting a rebound in front of the net. Ryan Paling's second goal of the game, while neither goal was pretty, it's still two goals in his debut, and it's still pretty early on in the game, the goal was assisted by Jeff Petrie and Nicholas Delorier. After a great start to the second period, the Montreal Canadiens on the power play get another goal to push them ahead in this competition, 3-2 on the stick of Jordan Wheel, assisted by Joel Armia and Jonathan Druin on a very beautiful set passing play in the offensive zone that leaves Jordan Wheel wide open to bang it into the net. But before we get a little too ahead of ourselves, uh, Trevor Moore breaks into the zone and rips it past Charlie Lindgren to bring the score back to even, a very beautiful goal from a very speedy young winger on the Toronto Maple Leafs. The fifth and final goal comes on the stick of Andrew Shaw, who brings the game back to Montreal, assisted by Domi and Lekkinen to conclude the action of the second period, going into the third period. Not a whole lot happened in the early stages of the third period until Kasperi Kapanen brings the scoreline back to even. Man, we cannot run away with this game. The soon-to-be RFA gets his 20th of the season, assisted by Matthews and Janssen, bringing the score back to even. Nothing else happens for the remainder of the third period, other than a couple nice chances on both sides until my man Ryan Paling comes out on the ice centering the second line with Lekkonen and Shaw on the wings. He receives a nice backhand pass from Lekkonen, comes into the zone, stays to the outside and rips it over the shoulder blocker side on Freddie Anderson giving him his third goal of the night on his debut. The hats come out and it is back. Hey guys, really quick, I was just editing the video and I realized that I missed the William Nylander goal. Uh, I'm sorry. It happened after the Shaw goal, so that was their fourth goal of the game. That would have tied it. Kapanen brought it back to the Leafs and then Paling tied it again. So my, my scores are a little bit off just because I missed that uh, William Nylander goal. And I'm really not trying to re-edit this entire video, so I'm just going to throw this at the end. I'm sorry. I won't do it again, I promise. Peace. With no resolution found in the third period, it goes into the overtime with not a whole lot happening, surprisingly, either side. The game had no resolution in overtime either, so we are going to see a shootout. With the Montreal Canadiens shooting first, Thomas Tatar comes in and can't find the back of the net. Austin Matthews up next, makes a nice move to the backhand and roofs it <sighs> over Charlie Lindgren. But it's okay because Jonathan Druin comes in and shows that he also has very nice hands and he as well goes to the backhand beating Freddie Anderson, bringing the scoreline 1-1. One one. Very beautifully done, Jonathan Druin. Let's see that in the game. Mitch Marner, Jordan Wheel, and John Tavares all get stopped by their respective goalies until none other but Ryan Paling gets the fourth shot in the shootout. He comes in. Goes wide, very slowly comes across and rips it glove side on Freddie Anderson, scoring again! Technically four goals, but like not really. Oh, and it's all down to Kasperi Kapanen. And Kasperi Kapanen cannot find the back of the net. The Montreal Canadiens have won this one in overtime. Ryan Paling, three goals in regulation, one goal in the shootout. 
This kid is going to be good, man. I'm so excited to see where this kid goes in the future. The first star of the game, obviously, being Ryan Paling. He had a great game with three goals and the shootout winner while only playing 10 minutes of ice time. This kid is going to be good. Wait for him to catch his legs. Wait for him to gain some confidence. And he is going to be nuts. I cannot wait for next season. We have so many good young players coming up. It's going to be a good year next year. I can feel it. We've got Ryan Suzuki that'll make the job. Josh Brooks might make the job. Ryan Paling's making the job. Romanov probably won't as he's still under contract in the KHL, but we'll see him the year after most likely. Then we still have like Jesse Ulonen and Yanni Ikkinen that can possibly get signed over the offseason. It's going to be a good year. I can't wait. And I'm going to keep you guys updated over the offseason on any big signings or big moves, big drafts, anything like that. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, turn on bell notifications if you are subscribed so you never miss an upload. And I will see you all in the next episode. Peace.